our next problem, 800 times 247. In this case, I need my zeros on the bottom, so I'm going to commute, I'll use the commutative property to flip these terms and start with the 247, the 800, but I'm going to put 8 all the way over into the ones column so I can hang my zeros off the side. I'm going to drop these completely into the answer and start multiplying by my 8. 8 times the 1, 8 times the 10s, 8 times the 100s. 8 times 7 is 56. Put down the 6, I'll carry the 5. 8 times 4 is 32. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. I'll put down the 7. The 3 spills over. 8 times 2 is 16, 17, 18, 19. By spilling off the zeros, to begin with, we eliminated all of those 0, 0, 0, and then the x off the place value and 0, 0, 0. It just made it so much more efficient. Because anything times 0 is 0, a 0 in the middle is really easy. I love to have zeros in the middle. They need to, in the middle of a number, here's 306 times 935. This time I want to keep my zero in the middle on the top because this is the way it would look. 306 times 935. When I go to, to um, multiply 5 times 6, I get 30. Uh, normally, I would put down my 0, carry my 3, say 5 times 0 is nothing, and I carried 3, so I have to put the 3 down. That's a lot of thinking. When there's a 0 in the middle, you can just say 30. When you have a 0 in the middle, you can take advantage of this trick. The carrying kind of disappears, because anything times 0 is 0, so whatever you're carrying, can just be put down. So when I'm looking at this, I go, oh, my zero in the middle. I can forget about carrying and then adding it on to. I can just put it down all at once. 5 times 6 is 30. Move on. 5 times 3 is 15. I need, I'm done with the 5. I'll put in my placeholder and go again. 3 times 6 is 18. It would be put down the 8, carry the 1, 3 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. But I can say 3 times 8, 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 3 is 9. I'm done with the 3. Put in my placeholder so I don't get confused. And now I'm going to go with multiplying by 9 all the way back to the lens column. So it's 900 times 6, but it's going to be lined up perfectly because the first answer from the 9s is going to go right under the 9, which puts it in the correct place value. 9 times 6 is 54. Just put it down because I have a 0 in the middle. And 9 times 3 is 27. Now I'm finished with the multiplication. I can add the partial products. 8 plus 3 is 11. Carry 1. Here I have 5 and a grouping of 5. I'm associating right now to get my group to 10. So here's 5 and here's a 5. So 5 and 5 is 10 and 1 I carried is 11. Put down the 1, carry the 1. Now I'm going to have a group to 10 here. So that's 10, 15, and 1 I carried is 16. Carry the 1. 1 and 7 is 8. And 2 is a copy job. The answer is 286,110. Zero in the middle.